Hi oh guys, come on, you. Welcome to the F1 2016 crew mode today, and we'll be doing the Mexican Grand Prix today. And um, here we are with a little bit of a sponsor bonus. We have 400 resource points for acknowledging my recent performances, and they've provided me additional resource points. So let's head to qualifying now. Not long now until the lights go green for the Mexico Grand Prix qualifying. So let's get ready and see who has that pole position winning performance in them this afternoon. So here we are in the garage for qualifying for the Mexico Grand Prix. The Mexican Grand Prix, sorry. Um, this is the third last round of the season. Uh, we have three to go. This Brazil and Abu Dhabi. Here we are with Kimi Raikkonen in the Ferrari. He's coming around the stadium section and into the last few corners. Here he comes into the final corner now. <coughs> Can Raikkonen get provisional pole here? Uh, well, obviously, well, he's the first time of a 119-1. So it's, uh, I think it's a little bit slow, but here is Romain Grosjean coming onto the straight. And he crosses the line with a 119.3 to go second fastest. And now Sebastian Vettel now in the other Ferrari coming through the stadium section. Um, let's see what happens here. Can you get provisional pole? Can Vettel get provisional pole? Here he goes around the final corner. And um, he's going to get provisional pole maybe. Yes, he is with a 119.0. So he goes provisional pole to Sebastian Vettel. But now <coughs> we have the tie blankets off and we go out on track for our first run here in Mexico. <coughs> Coming out of the garage to start our first run. Well, not really our first run. Just our, yeah, just our first run, but not really our first lap. Our first lap will come later, but the first run is uh, right now, just coming out of the pits. We're already warming up our tyres coming out of the pits, actually. <coughs> now coming into turn one and into the first few corners. Uh, a little chicane here. And now here we are at the end of the first lap. We are one-tenth down on Sebastian Vettel's time. Here we go into the stadium section. We hit the curb slightly. We hit the inside curb slightly. Rosberg gets provisional pole with a 118.9. Here we go, coming into the final corner. Um, what, what, where, where are we going to be for this race? Uh, coming across the line with a 119.6. And we go eighth fastest. So that's uh, not really ideal, to be honest with you. Uh, it's not really good. It's actually a 119.666, which is a very interesting number. Um, Kimi Raikkonen, once again now, coming around the final corner. Can he get, can he still pull away from Rosberg? Ferrari is obviously the fastest. It's been that since Malaysia. Now, coming onto the straight, Raikkonen gets provisional pole with a 118.95. And now here is Vettel and the other Ferrari. Can he get provisional pole? With four minutes to go in the session now. Can the other Ferrari, can it be a Ferrari front row lockout here in Mexico? Here he goes around the final corner, Vettel crosses the line and he does a 118.8 to go revisional pole with one with four minutes to go. Vettel and Raikkonen on the front row here in Mexico. So what's going to happen here? Here is our last lap of the session obviously because two minutes to go now in this session. Here we go, into the final corner. Starting our fastest lap here in Mexico. Coming onto the straight. There is a very long straight here in Mexico with the DRS open. <coughs> and now, we come onto the straight now. DRS wide open. Coming onto the straight, we're going up to 356 kilometers an hour. There is a <coughs> Felipe and NASA laying us through. Now coming into turn one, hitting the apex nicely. Turn two and three, hit, uh, missing the apex like there. So we got four tenths down, uh, four hundredths down in fact. Now 500s up, coming down into the into turn four, breaking into this corner nicely. We hit the apex. We are purple by 700s. Can we get a chance for pole? We are fastest in the first sector. And now coming into the double right hander, hitting the curb at the exit. Not uh, ideal there. Now coming into the S's. Very tight section here. But obviously we lose a lot of time in this section, so. But we've actually gained all the time on our last lap. Here we go, flat out through the last two corners here. And we are now two tenths up on our 119.6. And we are now one tenth, yeah, 1.187, which is basically two tenths. <coughs> now coming into the stadium section. What are we going to do in this qualifying? Here we go into the final corner. <coughs> Where's this lap going to put us? Here in Mexico, we are three tenths up. 
coming towards four tenths up. Half a second is going to do is a 119.2 to put us in sixth place for this Mexican Grand Prix. So we qualify sixth. Uh, for the moment, obviously, there's 22 seconds to go, so people can still improve. <coughs> um, and they have indeed. We have dropped down to 7th. So that is our qualifying session. We have qualified in P7 for this Mexican Grand Prix. Um, I think that's the second time in a row we've qualified in 7th. Or was it 8th last time in USA? I don't remember. I think we started 8th in USA, if you remember, but... We qualified 7th for the Mexican Grand Prix. And until then, it's goodbye. So Sebastian Vettel gets pole by 6 thousandths from Lewis Hamilton. That is close. Rosberg in third, Reichen in fourth, Hamilton fourth. Uh, Ricardo fifth, in fact, for Stappen in sixth, me in seventh, Roman Grosjean on eighth, Perez ninth, Sainz tenth, Bottas eleventh, Hulkenberg twelfth, Massa, then Kvyat, Button, Alonso, Nasser, Ericsson, Verlein, Herianto, Kevin Magnussen, and Jolyon Palmer completes the grid of 22 drivers. <coughs> Renault's at the back once again. <coughs> so Renault, um, not doing very well at the end of the season here. Here are our resource points after qualifying we have 66 of them and we have 3130 resource points and now uh, this is probably going to put us ahead in the rivalry is it yeah, no it's not actually uh, we are still 10 points ahead of Ricardo but one more if we do well in the race then um, we'll uh, do better so obviously we are still overachieving but we didn't get the uh, thing for finishing 6 or higher but we beat Roman Grosjean in qualifying so it was good so here are our race goals for the Mexican Grand Prix. We need to finish the race in sixth or higher. We need to finish higher in the race standings than Daniel Ricciardo. And we need to beat Roman Grosjean, our teammate. So um, this should be, a, hopefully, a good race here in Mexico. But um, <coughs> let's head now to the race for this Mexican Grand Prix. Formula One may have been absent from Mexico for 23 years, but after 2015's triumphant return, it was as if we'd never been away. In Mexico, a Grand Prix is more than just a race. It's a celebration of speed and of bravery. There's nothing quite like the atmosphere in the stadium today. They'll be drowning out the cars with their noise as they make their way through on lap one. At 2,285 metres above sea level, the thin air of the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez poses a unique challenge, not just to a driver's skill, but to the efficiency of their engines as well. 17 corners make up a lap of this 2.6 mile circuit, and you can expect incredible speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour, and overtaking two into the hard braking zones of turns one and turn four. And joining me amongst the cheers of the phenomenal Mexican fans, it's Anthony Davidson. And welcome along to this historic circuit. What an occasion this is. Yeah, it's hard to believe when you see the passion this country has for the sport that Formula One was away from Mexico for so long. It's fantastic to be here and let's hope that the race lives up to the party atmosphere we've got going. It's a real fast track, this. We get up to Monza levels of speed down the main straight thanks to the high altitude here at over 2,000 metres above sea level. And with that comes the challenge of having less downforce in the corners. So that makes it a really demanding circuit, both for the drivers and engineers. You should have some space going into the first corner, so try to keep it tidy. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So here we are for the race on the grid for the Mexico Grand Prix. We are starting from P7 on the grid. It is a fully cloudy race, overcast here in Mexico for the, in the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez um, for this Mexican Grand Prix. So here we are on the formation lap, uh, starting behind Verstappen. So <laughs> in previous races, I said I've got to be careful of Verstappen. Because he sort of brake checks me all the time in practice uh, in the, sorry, the formation lap. I don't know why. Anyway, um, we start on the super soft tyre for this. Oh, 
we've got very close to the seven there. Um, uh, super soft tyre is the starting tyre and we are going to change the softs for the one and only stop in this race. Obviously it's a one stop in 25% races. So yeah, here we are at the end of the lap of the stadium section. Um, we are still behind, uh, we're actually behind Ricardo because obviously Verstappen's not trusted again on the formation lap. Um, here we are lining up on the grid for the start of this Mexican Grand Prix. What is going to happen in this race? Vettel starts from pole and Hamilton did not get pole by six thousands which is unbelievable. Um, so here we are lining up on the grid for the Mexican Grand Prix. What's going to happen here? Everyone else is lining up on the grid now. And now here we are. I think everyone's pretty much lined up for the start of this Mexican Grand Prix. The third last round of this 2016 career. And it's away we go for the Mexican Grand Prix. We've got a pretty decent start there compared to Verstappen who's dropped back from the rest of the field. And now here comes Rosberg to the inside of Vettel. And now here comes Grosjean to the outside of us. It's going to become four wide for second place in the race. Here we go, coming into turn one. Is there going to be contact? Sure, yes there is! Raikkonen spun round. So is Hamilton. So what's happened here? We need to see a replay of the start later. But Raikkonen and Hamilton have both spun off at the start. Here we go, we are chal challenging Grosjean now. Rosberg takes the lead of this race. And Vettel's now challenging to the inside of Rosberg coming into turn four. Is he going to get it? There's absolutely... There's everyone side by side with each other into this corner. And Grosjean has had a blistering start. Moved from eighth up to third. And we have dropped back down to 7th after Bottas and Ricardo have both passed us there. Verstappen, in fact, has passed us. So Grosjean, a blistering start from him there. He moves up into 3rd place after he started 8th. That is great from him there. But now, here we are through the S's. Coming onto the stadium section. Can we get Bottas and Verstappen coming onto the, the, long, the long pit straight? Here we are, ending lap one of this Mexican Grand Prix. We are still in seventh place. As now Bottas has slipped through Verstappen, coming down towards turn one. He's pulling out to the inside, and he's going to easily get past him there. Into fifth place goes Bottas. But now we're going to go up the inside of Max Verstappen. Into turn one, we touch wheels, and we have got him into sixth place. That's a good move from us there. But now there's another battle of the lead here. And it's now almost three wide again. Ricardo Bottas gets past Ricardo. And now, who's, who's taking the lead here? Grosjean is actually up into second now. What a blistering start my teammate has made. Can he challenge for the win here in this Mexican Grand Prix? Vettel's leading at the moment. He's taking the lead away back from Rosberg. And Grosjean's currently second. Bottas third, Rosberg fourth. Here is the replay of the start. That's what I wanted to see. Let's see it. Vettel gets a pretty decent start from pole, but Hamilton got a better start. <coughs> but Rosberg got a better start than all, all the, both of them and pulled out to the inside. Went through the middle of them. Well, let's see what happens. So Raikkonen and Hamilton on the inside, the very inside line. And they probably just touched each other there. And they're both off into the grass. So what's going to happen to them in the rest of this race? Rosberg took the lead quite nicely there, but he's, uh, Grosjean's already up into 5th at this point. We're up into 6th, we've made 1 place. But you can see Vettel moving to the inside of Rosberg. There is Grosjean moving up into 4th. We're up into 3rd. And uh, there's Bottas and Verstappen getting passes. We've had to go off track to try and avoid that. And... Wow, what an exciting start to this Mexican Grand Prix here in Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez. Um... Unbelievable. That was uh, a very exciting start. But now Bottas sets the fastest lap of the race. Is now on to lap 3 of this Mexican Grand Prix. The DRS has been enabled. Is now coming down towards turn 1. We are slipstreaming Nico Rosberg. Coming down towards turn 1. We are gaining on him. And we're going to go up the inside of him. Coming into turn 1. Are we going to get him here into turn 2? No, we're not. We're, are we going to go for the switchback? No, we're not. Because uh, we touched the grass a bit there and we didn't get the greatest traction that we wanted. 
So Rosberg keeps fourth place for now. But can we get Rosberg in these next few corners? Maybe even next lap? Um, are we going to go up the inside of the double? Well, why would we go up the inside there? Why did I even ask that question? We're going to um, keep our current strategy because the engineer gave us an alternate strategy, which was pitting on lap three. Here is Grosjean now with DRS going to the inside of Sebastian Vettel. And that is the lead for Roman Grosjean. His first lap led in this season. Grosjean takes the lead of the race. Our teammate is leading the Mexican Grand Prix now. After starting from eighth on the grid, by the way, he is now in the lead of this race. Can he win this or will he not win this? We'll see about that. He has the pace to win it for sure. If you can do if you can pass for a lead like that. But now there's a huge battle going on which has put us right up to the back of Rosberg. Coming down towards turn four. Bottas moves to the inside of Vettel. And now we're gonna go up the inside of Rosberg. This contact. The side pod's damaged on Rosberg's car. I'm gonna go switching back on Nico Rosberg. Are we going to go up the inside of him, coming into the double right-hander? Yes, we are. We move up into fourth place, and Verstappen has touched Rosberg, and he's gone into the wall as Rosberg there. Verstappen touched Rosberg. Oh, of course he did, to be fair. Verstappen always touches people in real life, and he's done it today. And now we're in fourth place now after that move. And on lap six of 18 here in Mexico, we are going to pit because look at those tyres. Look at those tyres, 78% on the front left and 68% on the front right. So we just slowed down a bit there because Grosjean's also pitting at the, on this lap. So we are here, uh, basically we're double stacking. Grosjean just about gets out ahead of Vettel there. Very cool. But the tyres are ready a bit for us there. Um, so that's good. We uh, come out of the pits with a 4.1 second pit stop. We slow down in the pits, of course, to make a gap so we don't get held up much after the double stacking between Ben and Grosjean there. Good strategy by us, actually. Well, I hope so. I want Grosjean to win this race. We'll get a podium again. But uh, on lap 7 of this Grand Prix, out of 18, we are now in P19 after the pit stops. And we are behind Sergio Perez, the, um, the home favourite. And uh, there is only one home favourite because I'm in Esteban Gutierrez's car, so that's a slight problem. Uh, now with DRS open, Perez moves to the inside of the Mercedes. There's Hulkenberg coming out of the pits. We get out ahead of him. And now we're going to the inside of Sergio Perez and Julian Palmer coming to turn one. We get past them both. And now Grosjean and Verstappen are side by side. So Grosjean has not, he's lost out on the lead battle. Grosjean and Verstappen and now side by side. Heading down towards turn four. Are we going to get past one of them? Coming into turn four, going to go up the inside of Verstappen. Coming into turn four, we get past him. And we get into tenth place, I believe that is. Palmer's lost three places, but Verstappen has lost two. So now we are behind our teammate Roman Grosjean. That's actually eighth place. We are behind our teammate Grosjean for the second race in a row. Are we going to battle him for the second race in a row as well? Bottas, Matt, Nasser, Button and Harrianto haven't pitted, so Ricardo is actually effectively leading this race. But I think Vettel will get the lead back from him, surely. Ricardo's only race win was Canada. Oh, that, that carnage race. <laughs> and now, on lap 9 is Grand Prix. We're getting closer and closer to Roman Grosjean. Are we going to battle him for the second time in a row? Coming into turn 1 and into turn 2 and 3. We're going to get some great traction here, maybe. With DRS coming down to turn four, DRS wide open. Coming down towards turn four, are we going to get past him here? No, we're not. Of course not. We've, we almost did though. We are two turns purple, but now we are all over the back of Roman Grosjean coming through these corners. Are we going to get him on the next lap? Here we go at the end of lap ten. So this is actually two laps later, not one lap later. Vettel sets the fastest lap of 120.7, almost as fast as qualifying, 118 is there in that. But now with DRS open, are we going to get past Grosjean this time? Coming down to us turn one, well actually not turn one, but probably into turn four maybe. If we get some good traction here. Yes we do, that's some great traction there. We're going to get, we're going to get slipstream on him coming down to us turn four, we've got some DRS. And we are right behind him as we tuck to the outside of Roman Grosjean coming into turn four. We're going to go side by side, coming to turn four, 
and we have the inside line into the next corner. We are still side by side and Grosjean holds on to the place. He holds on to fourth place. That is a great, that's great defending from the F1 2016 AI there. And Grosjean holds actually third place. We are actually in fourth place right now. But he actually held third place. This is a battle for the podium. Not a battle for fourth place, it's a battle for the podium. And now on lap 13 of this Mexican Grand Prix. We are now slipstreaming Roman Grosjean coming through into turn one. Are we going to get him here for the podium place? Here we go, we're going to go up the inside of him, coming into turn one. And we get him, oh no we don't, we didn't quite get him there. But he has the inside line and we he holds on to third place. But now he comes onto the straight, we come onto the straight coming with DRS open again. Coming down towards turn four, we're going to go slip streaming again. And we're going to go up the inside once again into turn four. We've gone a bit wide there, but we've held it on. And we've got past Grosjean into third place. A great move from us there. We dived up the inside. We actually almost overshot it and went off the track. But we held on. And we move up into third place. But Grosjean is probably going to get past us here with DRS. He's going to get back past us. Now a DRS open, Grosjean is going to move to the inside of us, coming into turn one. And now Max Verstappen doing the same thing, he's going to get past us as well, he's going to sneak past on the inside. Is he going to do that? No he isn't, we are holding it around the outside of Verstappen, but not quite on Grosjean. And Grosjean gets us back, so this is the second time in a row where we have Grosjean. We are, we are battling with our teammate Roman Grosjean for a podium place. It's exactly the same thing as USA. You're battling with Grosjean for a podium place. Unbelievable. This crew mode is uh, pretty exciting, to be fair. But uh, let's see what happens now. With three laps remaining in this Mexican Grand Prix, are we going to get our, uh, our, the, our first podium since Japan, where we won the Grand Prix? Here we go, up the inside. If Roma Grosjean into Turn 1, and we get past him into turn into turn one, are we? Yes, we do around the outside into turn three. And we get past him into third place once again. We actually have DRS open here because uh, in the uh, detection zone we were behind him. But we got past him into turn one, so in the activation zone we had DRS open. So now we are trying to get past him. Oh, well, Grosjean's trying to get past us again. It's now on to lap 17 of the Mexican Grand Prix. Bottas is going to get second, so actually there's not going to be any Mercedes on the podium again. What a crazy seat! What a crazy end of the season this has turned out to be. Grosjean has now got past us, and Verstappen's also got past us. But now we are side by side with Max Verstappen coming into turn one. We're going to go diving up the inside of him again, coming into turn one, and we get past him again into fourth. Good move from us there. Good defending from us, in fact, because we're seven, we got past them, we got it back. The great defending from us on Max Verstappen. But can we catch Roman Grosjean? I don't think we can anymore, because now it's the last lap and we are very far behind him. As uh, Kvyat has retired from this Mexican Grand Prix. Let's see what happened. He's got his teammate Carlos Sainz behind him. And it looks like he's all by himself with smoke coming out of the back of his car and there's an engine failure. Almost exactly the same place where Brendan Hartley stopped his car in real life in 2017. So, almost exactly the same, but not quite. That place there on the right of your screen was where he parked up, actually. But um, Sebastian Vettel wins his second race in succession. Um, he won in USA, he, win he wins in Mexico. But Grosjean gets his third podium in a row, and we get fourth place for the second race in a row. So finish him fourth in USA and we finish fourth in Mexico. Great stuff. And a great race here in Mexico. Once again in this career, we have an, an exciting race. Very, very underrated career this one, obviously, because these exciting races are unbelievable. Almost better than 2013 career, in fact. You can see Roman Grosjean there celebrating his podium. Ferrari celebrate his, their second victory in a row. Uh, there is Felipe Massa randomly shut in uh, 10th place. I don't know why 
I don't know why the game's showing him. Here we are on the podium here in Mexico. Vessel is has won the Grand Prix. Bottas finishes second. He had a good race today, actually. And Grosjean, after being eighth on the grid, starting eighth on the grid, has finished in third. Great race from Grosjean. I think he deserves the driver of the day, to be honest. Fuck Anthony Davidson. We can have um, my own driver of the day. I think Grosjean is the driver of the day, to be honest. Eighth to third. Not bad. <coughs> so the results of the Mexican Grand Prix are as follows. Sebastian Vettel wins the Mexican Grand Prix. Valtteri Bottas in second. Roman Grosjean third. Me in fourth. Then we have Max Verstappen in fifth. Rosberg sixth. Hulkenberg seventh. Perez eighth. Raikkonen ninth. Massa tenth. Carlos Sainz in eleventh. Lewis Hamilton finishes in 12th place for Mercedes. So Rosberg is going to probably take the lead of the championship here. This is dramatic. Ricardo 13th, and Nasser Button, Ericsson, Alonso, Harrianto. Uh, I missed the rest of them. Hamilton is now five points clear at the top of the championship. So it's getting closer now. Uh, Rosberg in second, me in third, Bottas fourth, Vettel fifth, Raikkonen sixth, Ricardo seventh, Verstappen eighth. Regrosh on 9th, Massa 10th, Perez 11th, Hulkenberg 12th, Button 13th, Alonso 14th, Sainz, Kvyat, Magnussen, Harrianto, oh god's sake, that's the second time. Mercedes uh, are first from Ferrari in second, Red Bull in third, Haas in fourth, Williams in fifth, McLaren, and Force India then McLaren, Toro Rosso, Renault. Ha probably McLaren. Uh, missed it again for god's sake, I uh, probably did it too fast to be honest with you, I missed it again, but I know Salva at last with no points, and Manor. A second last. Here are our resource points after the Mexican Grand Prix. We have 126 resource points, getting us 3,256, but 116 plus uh, the extra 74. I don't know, exactly know. I can't be bothered to do the math there. 3,330. Imagine if that was 3,333 resource points. That would be awesome. <laughs> but now in the rivalry update, we are have won the rivalry. We have won the rivalry with Daniel Ricciardo by six points. So we're going to get a new rival in Brazil, possibly. Um, the next race, the penultimate race of the season. Driver position, we finished sixth or higher by finishing fourth. We beat, we did not beat Romain Grosjean again, but we beat Daniel Ricciardo again. So we are overachieving again. Our career score. Um, this is not going to be as big because obviously we did get penalties apparently, and we used flashbacks. But we've got 4,101 points to make it 89,865 for the whole season. So that was a very much enjoyable Mexican Grand Prix, our first career race in the, the Mexico, the Mexican track. Um, the next race is in Brazil, uh, the penultimate race of the season. See you guys on my next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell button for notifications if you haven't already. And goodbye.